Shalom and welcome to this week's discussion about Parshat Maaseh, which means travels. It begins, These are the journeys of the children of Israel who went forth from the land of Egypt according to their legions under the hand of Moses and Aaron. It reminds me of those assignments we had to do in school every year when we got back in the end of August or beginning of September. How I spent my summer vacation. This is a little bit more involved, but that's okay. Moses was commanded by God to chronicle the travel of the Israelites during their time in the wilderness. It's not only a list of places, though. It includes significant events that happened along the way, such as here the people had no water, here Aaron died and was buried, and now here we are poised to enter the promised land. We're finally at the border. Now, following the account of the travels, God gave a few more instructions for the people for once they're settled in the land. And that includes creating cities of refuge to protect murderers from revenge, supporting a segment of the community, and allowing women to inherit property. These were probably radical ideas for their time. But perhaps they were no less radical than some of the ideas and programs that have come about here in the United States in the past century. One that comes to mind is Medicare, which was signed into law by President Johnson 53 years ago this month, July 30th to be exact. Now, Medicare may not have been a radical concept that just popped up in 1965, but there's no question that it's changed health care in the United States and become a subject of political and social consternation and debate and discussion ever since. Medicare is most often associated with turning 65, an age when many people often retired from work. They began a new chapter in their lives, and as the Israelites get ready to enter the Promised Land, they're beginning a new chapter as well, and a new book. They're moving from a nomadic wilderness society to a settled urban and agricultural society that will be much more complex similar to navigating the health care and social security systems and the extended lifespans that we now have, which make things even more complicated for some of us. Without coming out and specifically saying it, Marseille provides the framework for social justice, recognizing that once the people are settled in the land, there won't be anything like a utopian society. There will be violence. People will need to take care of each other and all kinds of things in between. By creating those cities of refuge for murderers, God instructs the Israelites and us by extension to value human life, even if not everyone does. Allowing women to inherit property, even though they have to marry within their tribe, puts women, women almost on a par with men. Not quite, but it's a step in the right direction, isn't it? And requiring the community to provide for the Levites by setting aside cities where they can live rent-free and be cared for by the community that they're serving serves as a reminder that people are not cut all from the same cloth. This Shabbat, let's celebrate our diversity. Let's celebrate our value for human life and some of the radical ideas that have become part and parcel of our society today. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom and I welcome your comments here on YouTube, on the Malvern Jewish Center or my Facebook page, and on our website. Shabbat morning services are at 9.30. Shabbat Shalom.